Hey, what's going on fam? It's your sister Michelle here. Yep, doing a video about the narcissist. I haven't done a video, a long video on YouTube in a while. So I figured I would check in with my family members, give you a little bit more content than I've been doing with little TikToks. I hope you all have enjoyed that. And kind of get back to the basis with my family. Hope you're doing good. I'm wishing you nothing but love and light on your beautiful, beautiful journeys. Yes, I hope you're doing the best, the best in your journey. Because I love you so much. I really do. I had someone tell me on TikTok, because I have a lot of people on TikTok sometimes that say a little rude things, but, you know, don't stop my stride. You know that. Listen, I survived a narcissist. Ain't too much motherfuckers can do to stop me now. You get it, right? Okay. But I had someone tell me that I talk too much about, encourage, I encourage people too much. You're not getting to the point quick enough. You tell, get to the point of what you're talking about. I had somebody rudely say, get to the point, damn. And even put damn at the end. Get to the point, damn. All this other stuff you don't like. Encouraging people was wrong. Probably was a narcissist because you know what? Anybody with common decency knows that one thing you do want to do with people that survive this or just in life in general is to give people enlightening words. Tell them good things about themselves. No matter what someone says to me, I'm going to keep telling you that you're phenomenal, amazing, sexy, wonderful. Like I said, can't too much break you after you dealt with a narc, right? Just putting it out there. I love y'all so much. Mwah! And I miss y'all on this channel personally, you know, doing stuff that I've been doing. But let's get to it. One thing I learned about narcissists, if you don't already know this, is that narcissists will use you as placeholders. This was a sad truth that I had to come to reality to, that a narcissist will be with you for weeks, months, years, and especially if it's a longer term thing. And a lot of times we try to figure out why they went on to a new supply so quickly. Well, for one, they're narcissistic. You know how that is. And they're never fulfilled. They're always looking for a new supply. But also because they will use you as a placeholder until they find something else that they think is better. Because see, a narcissist always thinks that they can always find better than you. Their mind tells them that. Even if you have been the best you, you can be, you have given them love, you've given them everything. You can give them children, you can give them marriage, you can do everything that you can for them. Bend over backwards. Help them in the roughest times, the times of need, and at the end of the situation, they'll end up acting like you didn't do shit for them. They think that they can go find something different, something better, something more. And the mentality, I think, of that is because they are not fulfilled within themselves. So they're looking for the perfect person that probably comes along and finally makes that emptiness they feel go away. Or that thought of, if I find this next person, everything's going to be exactly what I had fantasized in my mind. And now I can just stop, I can stop all this madness. Well, we know that's not true. Their cycle always continues over and over again because so many times a lot of narcissists do not want to face the fact that they're narcissists and they need help. Some people do, I guess, and some people, a lot of them do not go seek help. Most of them do not think there's nothing wrong with them, baby. We know that's not true. We know there's something wrong with these motherfuckers. I said it and I ain't changed my mind. YouTube, don't block me. I ain't changed. They think that they can go find something better than you. And you become a placeholder for them. And when their situation falls back or messes up or the, the situation they went to now seems like it's not working out for them, they're not getting the supply they thought they were going to get, that's where they start coming back around. That's where they hoover back around. To put you once again in a placeholder situation. Because so many times, they use you as an ego boost. They use you as a stepping stool to say, hey, if I pull this kind of person, this kind of good person... There's got to be many, many more out there. Well, then, you know what? The joke is always going to be on them with that. Because I always say this, it is hard to find good, decent people. It is. And I'm not saying everybody's narcissistic. That's not what I'm saying because a lot of people are not narcissistic. They just don't have good values. That doesn't make you narcissistic. A lot of people that you run into, that when the narc runs into, don't even really want them. Right? They just are using them at the time. While they're trying to be the person that uses someone else. That's what usually happens with them. That's why the karma usually kicks their ass. Because when they're with somebody decent, somebody brilliant, smart, who loved them unconditionally. Who really had their best interest in hand. They would discard that. Thinking they're going to get better. But more than likely because it's so hard to find that. It really is. They end up failing in that situation. They end up failing because... They'll look at this new person thinking they found something and not even knowing this new person might be narcissistic themselves or the person just does not care for them like that. They've already figured them out to a certain degree. And now they're using them until they get tired of the narc. Or they're playing the same game the narcissist is playing. And once the narcissist realizes that this is being done to them, they start panicking. They start thinking about the people who were there before they chose to move on 
Before they put you in a situation where you were just a placeholder. Now they want to go back to that. Because see, you were nicer. You were kinder. Hell, is this even just keep it real? You put up on a lot more bullshit than this new person is putting up with. So let me go back to something. You know what I'm saying? That seems like it was easier for me. But really, it's not easier. It's just that they left. We, we, we were with them. We were such decent people that we left such a good fucking imprint on them. Right? That they now want to circle back to that. And use you again as a placeholder. And to the, do the same cycle. Again and again and again. Don't let narcissists put you as placeholders. Listen to me. I know it's easier said than done. And a lot of times we don't even know that's what's being done to us when we're in a relationship because we think we're in an honest to God, serious relationship. And this person is playing the role so good as far as acting like they want to be with you. And when you try to move away, they're pulling you back in. You understand how a narcissist can do. Pulling you back in and acting like they love you and future faking and all that and you fall back into it. But the whole time, they're thinking about what they can get outside of you and what might really be out there that's better than you. But the trick is always on them. Because I don't think nothing's better than you. You, 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 and you. You know how I feel about you. They always fall on their face with that shit. Don't be anybody's placeholder. Especially a narcissist. Because if you were a placeholder for them once, they always think that you're going to be a placeholder again. And again. And again. And that's where the hoovering comes from. Listen to me. You're more than that. You deserve more than that. I love you so much. I'm wishing you nothing but love, light, and all the happiness that the world can bring you. See y'all. Bye.